रिप सैंपल टेक्निक इन कस्टर्ड एप्पल एनिनोस कैमोज कस्टर्ड एप्पल इज डिलीशियस डई एंड फ्रूट विद स्वीट डेलीकेट फ्लैश इंट्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम ट्रॉपिकल अमेरिका एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट इंडिया कस्टर्ड एप्पल एनिनोस कैमोज बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली एनिनोसिए इज डेसिडियस और सेमी डेसिडियस वुड स्ट्रब हैविंग इरेग्युलर स्प्रेडिंग ब्रांचेस इट प्रेफर्स वार्म एंड ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट इट कैन बी ग्रोन इन वेरीड सॉइल राइट फ्रॉम हैवी क्ले अप टू सैंड वन However, well-drained red fertile soil with neutral pH will be ideal. Among different management to techniques, nutrient management is one which drastically influences the fruit yield, which basically depends on leaf nutrient analysis, which is required to utilize modern techni- diagnostic techniques like DRIS, CND norms, for which an index leaf is required, which is true representation for leaf nutrient analysis. An index leaf should be recently matured, physiologically active. which satisfies the major biochemical process required for supporting the yield contributing characters with a stable nutrient concentration so in order to identify correct field correct stage and correct leaf position for identifying index leaf a study was conducted at central horticulture experiment station vezalpur godra gujarat and the semi arid ecosystem custard apple starts its new place in april month simultaneously new flower buds and flowers appear on the naked stem in may also the tree maintains the same stage with little growth due to non availability of proper moisture some flowers set set into fruits but dry at marble stage becoming black and retain on the stem due to lack of moat in june also very little growth is observed in custard apple twigs with 3 to 4 leaves maximum from july twigs grow in size reach up to 20 to 26 leaf stage again new flowers come and set into fruits this stage continues up to august in september some of the fruits almost reach big size and fruits maturity starts and this stage is continued up to october and november from this stage many of the leaves starts eroding and slowly dry due to cessation of monsoon rains and leaf falls starts from january and continues up to march by march the tree can be seen without a single leaf by march second fourth night and in some plants some from april past fortnight again new plus starts the nutrient stability and optimum nutrient concentration is observed in last week of july in july month the mature twig almost with 20 to 26 leaves show the optimum nutrient concentration and the two leaves present in middle part of the twig show stable nutrient concentration here important observation to notice is the elements like nitrogen with 3 to 3.12% phosphorus 1070 ppm potassium 0.69% magnesium 0.83% are more in young leaves and gradually decrease in basal or old leaves the nutrients like calcium 2.81% and sulfur 3119 ppm were accumulated in old leaves which prove the nutrient mobility concept in plant in custard apple based on maturity of leaf and nutrient stabilization and fruiting behavior of the july month sampling and twigs which contain at least 20 to 26 leaves and leaves of the middle part of the twig and a sample size of 20 twigs or prefer for leaf sampling to diagnose the nutrient status and further recommendation of the fertilizers in custard apple